One, hello all, it is the gothiest ghost of them all, Caspa in the flesh. And it is time for a review of Beyonce's Renaissance album. And man, it's hot. Almost as hot as this new album right here. Beyonce, if you didn't know, she was a member of Destiny's Child. They broke up. She put out some albums. I thought they were pretty good. But I feel she nailed it with uh, Lemonade. A very heartfelt reflection on the harrowing experience she's had with the infidelity from her husband, Jay-Z. And I feel she really nailed that well. Had a lot of focus. She stuck to it. I do feel like the songwriting could have been better. But other than that, I thought it was great. And now we're on to a departure from that with this Renaissance album. And man, I think she could have been a little more generous with the uh, singles on here. But I feel that was just an entree leading on to the excellent meal, very fulfilling, very flavorful meal that this album is with, with the flavors of soul, funk, disco, afrobeat, techno, and disco, and some hip-hop too. Because she does do a little rapping on the back end, and she does savage, she does slay, the Queen Bee does slay on this album. And she is just taking us into this funky, spacey, sexy, groovy, psychedelic oddity that is this album. And it's a party. It's a party. It's just, just dripping with sex appeal, passion, empowerment. And her melodies just blend it all up. Just chop it all up in a blender. And I just want to drink it all down. Hit the dance floor, because it goes down smooth, almost as smooth, no, as smooth as the transitions on this album, which are flawless, flawless transitions on here. And I will admit, the um, first track could have been structured better, could have had a better pacing to it, but it definitely sets off the mood for the album, sets off the party, because man, the party begins right after. Goddamn, with Cozy. And it has a very thick Afrobeat style to here. Very nice bass line, too. Uh, and the lyrics, being comfortable in your own skin. You know, loving yourself. Feeling empowered. And sharing that empowerment with women who have gone through the same struggle. Saying, okay, we've made it. You know, even if you didn't make it. You know, you can self-love. This isn't just my party. This is your party as well. And you are invited to celebrate with me. I... Why, why pass that up? You know? And... Sh fucking love the vocals here. The vocals are fantastic. And Aliens... Leading into Alien Superstar. Flawless, mind you. And the DJ sets off the track well. With the announced vocals... And these sexy vocal passages from B. And the vintage synths on here are great. Vintage electro synths are beautiful, complemented very well. Space Age synths, man, they just... They just glow with elevation and beauty. Just adding more to that empowerment. Adding more to that uniqueness. And I do love the little refrains going, Unique! Unique! I can't do it because my voice is shot. But anyway, it just creates such a glow. And I love the skeletal wrapped verses through here. I think they're great. The chanted soulful falsettos, which I kind of butchered. I'm sorry if you're watching this. And it just creates so much radiant harmony, such excellence on the back end. And Cuff It has a fantastic hook. Uh, Nile Roger kills it on guitar. And the bass just rides and struts across the track, absolutely killing it. And B, with these vocal harmonies, they're so elegant, they're so sexy. And super sexual lyrics, very punchy vocals too. And they are insane. And the, ho and the horns are amazing too, very tight, 
very well structured and complement themselves very well, nestle themselves very well into the track. And, oh man, it just, it just continues. It just goes right into energy. And the lyrics here are so badass. Talking about how she's entering the country with derringers because Karens be terrorist. Yeah, she nailed it there. No lies there, no lies detected. You could try, but no. She is telling the truth on that one. And man, the Afrobeat switch just fucking slaps. I'm loving that. Great stuff. And how much personality and character she puts into these vocal performances, too. Like, this is definitely B at an 11, if I do say so. And break my, and it goes flawlessly into Break My Soul, which is this very anthemic, very empowering house type track. Very, very amazing. I love the synth patches. I love how dense the vocal harmonies are. Powerful, catchy hook. And I just love the passages on the back end, too. Really making it feel like it's a um, soulful, religious experience. Because this album is more than just an album. It's a religious experience. And speaking of religious experience, I'm not really a religious man myself. But Church Girl, man... If church is like that, where could I attend? And it's just so uplifting. You know, it's such an uplifting track. And I, I get it, you know, saying how Beyonce is financially stable, more than financially stable to quit her job and do something else. And I feel she's speaking to that crowd. I'm pretty sure her audience have the knowledge of knowing that if they quit their job they probably won't be in the best circumstance. So that's that. And I know I touched on Church Girl before in a consensual way, but we're doing it again because, man, no ID fucking killed it on here with these savage drums, savage rhythms, um, and the homage to Southern rap music is great too with the do it, baby, stick it, baby. Killing it on there. And the, the party, man. The party just goes on. And Plastic Sofa has this thick, fat bass line and just grooves back and forth on the track with these gorgeous strings just strumming across the track. And B is delivering such an intimate, whimsical vocal delivery on here. And the message is very touching, too. Finding confinement... In your partner and letting them know that the feelings that you have for each other mitigate the suffering and loathing that you would get outside from society and finding that confinement and peace within each other which is fucking beautiful it's a very beautiful track and seamlessly going into the most ambitious in her catalog Virgo's groove very long and very satisfying track. And there's dozens of sex tracks on here, but it feels like an experience. You feel the passion. You feel the intricacy. It's not like rappers or singers are like singing about sex and they're just running with that off of like these generic YouTube type beats. It's not going on here. And Virgo's groove. The West Coast funk groove with these galactic, sexy, psychedelic passages of synths and chords. And Beyonce just delivering these very enticing lyrics and vocals. It's just, it's just a ride, man. It's just a ride. And personally, I don't think Beyonce um, has always been a strong songwriter. But on this, she is killing it. This, I feel she's coming through with some great bars on here, especially where she says, so use me, pursue me, kiss me where you bruise me. Damn, some sexy shit right there. And the sections here kind of remind me of uh, Jesse Ware, like What's Your Pleasure album, or even going further to like Daft Punk with their, their latest album that they put out. Um, 
and the the afro beats just continue they continue and she just delivers these very abstract very eccentric vocals on on this track right here with grace jones called move move out the way absolutely killing it with the legend grace jones and the bass is so thundering on here i love it love it love the savage vocal delivery she just absolutely loses her mind on here now granted on the back end i do feel like this is like the weaker portion but mainly because i felt that the tracks could have been longer i do feel like there could have been more excitement but don't worry there are some bangers on the back end too it doesn't it doesn't end weak so get that out of your mind so out of your mind good let's stay there because man we get thick which is a fucking banger and a half no it's a whole banger fuck the half part with these very elongated raspy vocals on thick breaking into these trap type beats hip and breaking into the hip house because i told you like the transitions on here they don't transition smoothly just track to track they transition within the track as well and it is just adding to the experience man it's just adding more to the ride and me as a man who uh loves women of thickness it's definitely up my alley and uh definitely satisfying and back to the uh sonic attributes of this because her vocals are just enchanting on here the seductive spoken vocals are so sexy so alluring and just adding more to the magic just adding more to the magic accompanied with the backing vocals and it's just just great just great America has a problem, has these electro beats and the synth work and various vocals on here. Granted, it's not really a political track, you know, because with the track like America has a problem, you kind of think that it's going to be like addressing social issues, but it's still a banger. She still carries on here. She still kills it. So, yeah, that's important. And Summer Renaissance just closes this album out greatly with these feisty catchy refrains just paying homage to the great donna summers and really captivating the mood of this album really ending it off well and greatly finishing it off tying in with the theme to this album summer as in donna summer renaissance as into the album title and it, the more, the more you listen to this, if you listen back to uh, Donna Summer's stuff, definitely compliments it. So I feel this was a great closer, and honestly, I see people saying, like, this album's trash. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not throwing this album away. I'm not. You can, but I want to know, like, why? I mean, I got some feedback saying, like, there wasn't one melody, like, you didn't catch on to one thing that didn't make you want to dance like what does make you want to dance you know i mean if we're talking about like current stuff like some older stuff yeah sure but if you're not dancing to this i want to know currently what's making you dance i want to know because i love this album i think it's great i think it has a great flow I think it has a great message. I think the lyrics are great. I think the instrumental passages are fantastic. And yeah, I just feel it. I feel it. And I am feeling the blackest of four out of five hearts on this album. If you've checked it out though, what do you think? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. Caspa, Beyonce, Renaissance. Till we meet again.